Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the experiment which is being conducted on the journal bearing apparatus. Now, let's first try to understand what are the different parts of a journal bearing. So journal bearing consists of two major parts. One is journal of a rotatory element or uh, which is generally a shaft and a stationary part known as a bearing which is a structural part or frame. Now they are designed in such a way that the journal is uh, having a smaller diameter comparatively compared to the uh, this housing or bearings. Now, the, this clearance between the journal and the bearing is usually filled with the uh, lubrication or lubricating oil. Now, what is the function of this uh, oil is it reduces the contact between or it uh, eliminates the contact between journal and the bearing. And uh, because of that, the rubbing action uh, will be eliminated and ultimately the friction reduces considerably. Okay. But during this operation, if you see that because of the load of the shaft in downward direction, or you can say vertically in downward direction, the pressure variation occurs in the oil. Okay. So pressure variation uh, that with respect to the angle that we will study here. So uh, this is the oil inlet where we, uh, if some oil leak because of the oil leakage, if we uh, of maintenance people periodically used to fill it completely and we try to ensure that there is no air uh, inlet torsion. Otherwise, it, the air ingress will be there and uh, it may create uh, this uh, corrosion and other problems. Now the objective. Objective of the, this study is to measure the pressure profile of lubricating oil at various condition and speed. Actually, there are many parameters which affect the this pressure distribution. One is the speed, second viscosity, uh, temperature and the load. So during this analysis, we will consider viscosity and the you know, this uh, temperature as a constant because our apparatus will run for a short period of time and because of this this uh, temperature and viscosity variation will be marginal and that's why we'll consider them constant now what we will do here is in first let's try to understand the theory you know that this is this blue color is showing the lubricating oil what, this load will be applied in vertically downward direction so this load is uh, perpendicular to the uh, shaft length and uh, if you see in the second once it, it starting uh, rotating starts rotating then you will see that the shaft will move towards either right or uh, left side because of the starting and the resultant force will be somewhere here uh, and this may be identified by seeing the thickness of the oil here in the journal bearing. Now, if there is a minimum, when there is a minimum thickness between the journal and the bearing, this will be the point of maximum pressure. And gradually, as the thickness increases, pressure will also decrease. Sometimes, if you see at the maximum, when there is a oil film is maximum, pressure may be negative. Here it will be maximum, here it will be minimum. Now, this is the transition phase. The second one figure indicates the transition phase. This one is my maximum when speed, uh, uh, this shaft rotate at the maximum speed. Under this condition, if we measure the pressure profile by using the pressure case, you will see that pressure actually uh, at certain angle from the vertical axis 
will be maximum and on both the side on this side as well as on this side pressure will be decreasing you will find the decreasing uh, in decreasing order okay as the complete uh, general bearing works on the principle of hydrodynamic action now let's try to understand the apparatus if you see the apparatus here this is my oil reservoir uh, uh, usually it is of 2 to 3 liter and it is connected to a pipe here there is a journal this is my compound pressure gauge i call it compound pressure gauge because uh, it can measure positive pressure means higher than the ambient pressure as well as less than the ambient pressure that's why it is compound pressure there is a motor here which can rotate both in clockwise direction and anti clockwise direction as per our requirement now there is a uh, if you see it here there is a ball valve in case ingress of some air we open it so uh, along with some droplets of the oil air will also comes out here is a frame on which we can apply load and when we apply load more load will be there on the journal bearing and hence pressure profile will change similarly there is a speed variable controller here it is used to change the speed of the motor in rpm okay now here the motor is a dc motor there is a we have a speed controller as i told to control the speed of the journal shaft a compound pressure gauge and that uh, pressure gauge location means along the angular position can be changed and hence we will change uh, we will able to see the pressure profile which is actually inducing in, inside the journal bearing now here the weight is hanged on the center of the bearing here is a, a center of the bearing here one inlet mounted on the journal to supply lubricating oil you can see that through the storage one ball valve is also provided to release the trap air this is my trap uh, ball valve which is used to release the trap air now extra if because of the leakage there will be extra requirement of the lubricating oil that will be supplied through the reservoir now this is the schematic diagram of the this apparatus now here is my oil tank or reservoir as i told this is my this is motor and this is my journal bearing pressure gauge there is a valve here uh, this pipe is connected to the journal bearing this is my frame where i used to apply the load there is a tray uh, uh, because of the leakage of some oil it will pass on the tray and it will ensure that our surface remains clean during the experiment the pressure reading can be taken from this pressure gauge there is a ball valve as i told uh, it is used to regulate the uh, or to release the trap air now what are the requirement we have we require electricity single phase 22 220 volt ac or uh, dc if it is uh, here we have a ac motor that's why we are using ac dc motor may also be uh, employed 50 hertz is the frequency of the current we know it now combined socket socket is required to uh, apply the connection the beginning oil and the oil of a standard ac 40 approximately 2 liters is required now let's see the videos of the experiment I show you this experiment videos. If you see this, this is my journal bearing. There is a protector is uh, is there which is used to measure the reading angular uh, this displacement of the pressure gauge with respect to the vertical direction. Here is my compound bearing variable speed controller. There is a knob. This knob is used to change the direction of the motor during the once we uh, first we'll uh, use this knob whether we want to rotate the motor in clockwise direction 
or in anticlockwise direction. And then uh, once it is decided, then we rotate this knob to increase or decrease the RPM of the motor. The RPM of the motor will be visible here in the uh, this radio. Okay. Now let's see the motion here. This is what I have just explained you. Now, do you see here this one is in operating conditions so this knob i'll uh, press here first i have selected is in clockwise direction and when i'm operating this knob my rpm will change when i see that when i change the speed my pressure will gauge will also shows that it is increases with the speed now once you know that the pressure first increases and then slightly decreases because initially we know that viscosity is higher in static condition but as soon as it starts uh, comes in a dynamic condition pressure get reduces on the other side if you can see that when i apply the load pressure is increases similarly if you go on increasing the load my pressure will also increases at when i don't change any uh, angular a position of the pressure gauge you can see here when i applied so pressure increases when i if i release my pressure will decreases again i'll show you now in this video i'll show you how actually we change the angular position first i use this knob to lose the position of the present position of the pressure this gauge and then i'll slightly rotate it now here uh, this knob is you can see i have also opened this uh, valve valve so that some trapped air may be released i'll again show you here you can see that so here in this experiment we, what we do is we first kept at zero position, zero angle, and then minus 20, minus 40 degree, and on the other hand, 20 degree and 40 degree uh, positions were selected. And we have uh, drawn a graph, this uh, speed versus angle, and the angle versus pressure these two graphs I have drawn that I'll show you based on this reading. Now let's go to the experimental table. You see here what I have done here is this is my first reading actually but just to draw a, a, a perfect uh, a pressure profile I have uh, put it on the middle so my degree pressure uh, this gauge will be at zero degree so at this position uh, i got 0.2 kg per cm square pressure and i kept speed 136 rpm is constant if you see i have uh, kept the total load on vertical vertical load i have placed one kg then what i have done is if you can see minus 30 so when i rotated this uh, pressure gauge at minus 20 degree I found that my pressure actually shows decreasing and the speed goes up up to 211 rpm third time what I have done is I have further changed the degree of the pressure gauge up to four, minus 40 so this show the pressure gauge shows that there is a minus 0.01 kg per cm square uh, pressure and the speed further increases up to 237 rpm now that's why i told you that pressure may be negative also and this pressure will try to bring the air inside and that's why there uh, there should be a airtight uh, this whole uh, system should be now on the other hand if i change the 
a position of the this pressure gauge to 20 my pressure gauge shows the reading of 0.1 kg per cm square pressure and again speed will increase to 0 6 now here on other side 5 uh, reading if you see when i change the position of the pressure gauge at 40 degree from vertical then i'll see that the pressure is 0 0.06 minus and the rpm will be 220 rpm now when i draw the graph for these readings i'll find this one you see here this is my zero degree so pressure was 0.2 kg per cm square when i change minus 20 pressure decreases when i further change the opposition of the pressure gauge my this at minus 40 degree pressure will be negative on the other hand here at 40 degree also pressure was negative you can see that in the table minus 0 0.06 now similarly when i draw the diagram between speed and the position of the position of the uh, this uh, pressure gauge i found that as I change the position of the pressure gauge, my speed is increases on either side. So this is how we have taken the reading. Other experiment can also be conducted on using uh, variation in the load and similar graphs may be obtained. As I told that as we go on increasing load, the pressure uh, will also go on increases. Thank you. If you have any question, please you may ask.